What is up everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to access your iCloud stuff if you've switched over to Linux. Maybe you have an iPhone, an iPad, or you haven't fully committed to using only Linux. But first thing you need to do is we need to download the Snap Store. So you're going to want to go to snapcraft.io. You're going to click on Store and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to click get the snap store and then you're going to need to select which distribution of Linux you're running for me it's Fedora and then that will give you the instructions that you need in order to install the snap store once you have the snap store installed we're going to go ahead and open that up and we're going to search for iCloud and you have two options that work here you can use this app or you can use this one that says iCloud notes Linux client the big difference here is this one is going to open directly into your notes every time or this is going to open into the dashboard that lets you select all your apps either one of them will allow you to access all the apps it's just that this top one opens uh, automatically into your notes every time. So for the purposes of this video we're going to do the one that says iCloud. And per the comments after we install this you need to reboot your computer in order to make it work so we'll be right back after we get done rebooting. Alright and we're back. So if we go to our applications you will see you have all of the iCloud stuff here and you can access them individually. So the first time we do this, if we try and just access, let's say, Calendar, we should need to authenticate via another Apple device, whether that be your iPhone, iPad. You need to do your uh, two-factor authentication. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in real quick. And there's our two-factor authentication. I just got the pop-up on my iPhone. And there you have it. So you can see the calendar the Calendar works. And you don't need to close this out if you want to access other stuff. So you could go from here to your notes. And then there's all my notes. Likewise, you could still just go to your applications. And I could go down and let's say click notes if you prefer to do that. And as you can see, my notes opened up fine. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is Keynote. And guys, I don't have anything in here, so I don't really use Keynote, but I just want to show you that it'll open up, but I'm not actually going to have any files in here to open up. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And then let's try iCloud Drive. And as you can see, everything loads up here. I have some folders in here, but I've basically transitioned away from using all the iCloud stuff since I switched to Linux. But next, we'll open up Pages. And as you can see, Pages and everything opens up fine. Again, I don't have any files in here because I don't use Pages. And that should do it. So in conclusion, I just want to show you guys that this works. And if you need to access your iCloud storage for whatever reason, you can, even though you're not using Mac OS anymore. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody taking the time to take a look at this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.